Alright guys, I'm back with a real quick video. So, what I did was I took the Ethernet to USB adapter and I took my um, um, micro USB to USB adapter and I hooked it in. So now I'm getting Ethernet speeds on my smartphone. So, now I just downloaded speedtest.net give me a second let's open this up trying to find it and we're ready so now I'm just going to go ahead and run this test a few times keep in mind this is with ethernet and you can see up there on my phone Wi-Fi is turned off data is turned off when you hook up the ethernet Everything that's everything else turns itself off. So you can see the little two arrows. That means I'm getting Ethernet speeds on my smartphone. So now let me quick click start. Excuse me real quick because I'm using both hands. So I'm gonna look away real fast to click start. And we're gonna see what we get. that is pretty good now keep in mind now guys the, um, the ethernet that I'm using right here is a 100 gig a 100 megabyte per second ethernet so it's gonna ma it's really maxing out at a hundred so let's just run it one more time see what we get All right. And you know what? Just for kicks, we're just going to run it one third time and see what we get. Alright, so there we have it. And you can see right there. Boom. So you're getting some really good speeds with this Ethernet adapter here. Granted, I don't know when you'd want to do something like this, but I just wanted to hook it up to see if I could. So it's pretty cool that you can. But as y'all can see, so running from my phone to micro USB to USB, then from USB to Ethernet, and then my Ethernet cable is running. I have a pretty big 100 foot one. It's running from there to my router. So there we go. Once again, guys, I just thought this was pretty cool. I don't, I don't really see how this is usable or functional because now you just got a big cable mess here just to get your speeds a little bit better and keep in mind if your if your data speeds are better uh, I don't know when this might happen but if your data speeds are better on your data network then your um then your home internet or Wi-Fi then this might not be too practical but I really just did this to see if I could so I hope y'all enjoyed the video I don't really have a playlist to put this in. This is just something fun that I wanted to try out. So once again, I hope y'all enjoyed. And you know what? Real quick. You know what, guys? I'm just going to disconnect this and we'll run another test. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to end the video. Just give me a second, guys. So we're going to disconnect right here. Alright, so now 
I'm back on Wi-Fi. I just disconnected. I don't have data on this guy because my my SIM card is in my 5X that I'm using to take this video. But now I'm running straight Wi-Fi on my Moto X here. So let's just run this test again. And let's go again. So just so you can see the limitations. I get a lot better Wi-Fi running through my router than using that Ethernet 100 megabyte per second Ethernet adapter there. As you guys can see, I just wanted to show y'all a real quick comparison of that. Even though I just showed y'all that really cool trick there. And you know what, just for good measure, we're going to go ahead and run this three times. So that was one. And then here goes two. And then one last time, going to do it third time. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so there you go. Just wanted to prove some practicality real quick. So as you can see, the ones at the top were with my Wi-Fi. Now if you look over here, I have a Netgear router, a pretty good Netgear router. I think it's the, uh, I have it linked in the description. And I'm getting pretty awesome Wi-Fi speeds through that router. Now I also have a broadband modem, which um, I'll pay for 200 megabytes there. And then I feed it to my router, which boosts the speeds. And then that's why I get such good Wi-Fi speeds there. Now, I just want to show y'all that neat little trick. And then show y'all the practicality of it. So, again, you get much better signal strength using the Ethernet. But there are cases, as y'all just seen, where your Wi-Fi may be better than your ethernet connection and keep in mind that ethernet cable right there it dropped on the floor is only a hundred megabits per second so it's it pretty much maxed out here as you can see from the test about a hundred megabits but I just wanted to show y'all that real quick I guess you can call this a real quick neat little trick and um comparison there and as you can see, I, I changed from the two-directional arrow to the regular Wi-Fi. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this quick little video, neat little trick, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please hit the subscribe button down below to get notified as soon as new videos become available. Um, and lastly guys, if you know anyone out there looking for some quality devices at some really great prices, please share with them my channel, because I'm doing this for everybody, because we all deserve the best. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope y'all have a good day, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Peace.